Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I popped on and done a full face of makeup, but this is one of my favorite videos to film and I have had a crazy, crazy couple of weeks. So this video is going to be a full face of ColourPop. I have done one of these in the past, but with all of the makeup that ColourPop releases, I could probably do one of these every single week if I had the time, so I have plenty of new things to try. <laughs> also you guys, the air is going to be going the whole time in here because it's that time of year where where if I don't have it on, I'm going to be sweating profusely. And I've had questions about my air conditioner because it is fairly quiet for being an air conditioner. It doesn't have that buzzing noise. So if you're curious, I will leave it linked down below. First, I'm going to start my look with primer, of course. This is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I've only tried this a few times. This is a water-based primer. I prefer water-based primers to anything silicone-y. Silicone just doesn't jive well with my makeup products most of the time, so I kind of stray away from that. Applying this with my F80 Air Kabuki from Sigma. I've been getting some questions lately on TikTok as to why I apply my primers with a brush because I always typically apply with a brush. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I just kind of don't want to touch my face more than I have to, especially with gripping primers. Sticky fingers are just a pet peeve of mine. There are some products, though, that I understand apply better with fingers. And I want to try the Jones Road Beauty Foundation Balm or whatever that is. And I think that applies better with fingers. So let me know if you want to see my review on that. I did purchase it. I fell victim to the hype. This is super, super hydrating. It has a cooling sensation. And you can see it just added hydration and glow to my face. And now I actually am going to be doing a step that I don't typically do. And I'm doing this because my foundation or tinted moisturizer for today might be a little light for me. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of preemptive bronzing. So I'm going to go in with the Soul Body Medium Face and Body Bronzing Balm. This is a dupe for the Chanel bronzer. And for this one, this is my favorite brush to go in with for this product. This is the ColourPop F9. It's a really small stipple brush. It allows you to concentrate the product. Even though I still have bigger cheeks, I still want to concentrate in the hollows of the face, which I don't have, but I like to sculpt. So I'm going to start by just tapping this on. That has a lot of pigment, but it's going to disperse because it does blend very, very easily. Just kind of doing an outline at first of where I want this to be. Once most of it's off the brush, that's when I'm going to start blending the cheek area. I think my skin is having a little bit of a tretinoin purge. I just got tretinoin. It's my first time ever trying it. It's a prescription retinol. It's supposed to be a game changer, but I am breaking out a little bit after my first time applying it, so I don't know how bad or good of a sign that is. I really don't know. But if you're interested in my skincare journey as a 28-year-old, I will keep you guys updated. Just let me know and, you know, make your requests down below. I'm always looking for different video ideas. From you guys. I think I'm gonna let the primer and bronzer just sit for a little while and I'm gonna do the eyeshadow and I kind of want to talk about this a little bit because I wanted to go hard with this palette because this is new and this is exciting to me. It's the Getting Fresh Mega Palette and it has a lot of neutrals and greens and browns. I've swatched the whole thing. I will insert swatches so you guys can see what it looks like but I really want to stay true to what I've been doing recently. So if you want an intense eyeshadow review slash look, please request it. But today I'm going to stay more true to like a me routine. And that is not going to be too, too exciting. So I am going to dip into this, but it's going to be a little bit more boring, I guess, than it would be if I was reviewing this palette. First, before I go into any eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Precision Brow Pencil from ColourPop. This is a really good alternative to high-end brow pencils. I really sometimes don't understand why brow pencils could ever be $20 to begin with. That being said, I love my Benefit and Anastasia, but like, why do we use them over drugstore? I don't really know. My brows are pretty naturally full. As you guys can see, there's nothing in them. But I do like to go in to my scar over here on this eyebrow and then towards the top. It's so weird, but my eyebrows, you can see how dark they are. But when I enter sunlight, it's like they reflect the sunlight and it looks like I don't have eyebrows. So sometimes I do like to make them even darker. I don't know if anyone will understand that who doesn't have bushy brows, but let me know if you can relate to that. It's super, super weird, I know. This is going to be super, super simple, I think. I'm going to go into the shade Literally Me. It's kind of like a 
creamy bone colored eyeshadow it has a lot of pigment to it I'm gonna pat this all over the lid just to get a nice powder down I don't have anything on sometimes I put concealer down as a base sometimes I don't and also not to gatekeep but I did just get Botox in my forehead I have had it before but my brows get a little bit more arch in them when I have my Botox so I do have that in my forehead and that is also why my forehead is more glassy than normal next with a more precise brush this is the Sigma E27 detail blending I'm gonna go into a light matte brown called slick this is really just gonna be the start of a little bit of a halo so I'm gonna start in the outer corner and do the inner corner and we're just gonna do a really soft halo to start off this look so just tapping a little bit of product in the outer corner taking even less product on the inner corner and then taking whatever is left on the brush which is not a lot and connecting the crease taking the brush from earlier I'm gonna go into the lightest shade in the palette I think this is called what is this striking striking is a shimmer but I'm just gonna dust it right in the center I have this Super Shock Vault from ColourPop's birthday. I want to pop it open just because these can sometimes make really good eyeshadow toppers, even though they might look super, super intense, and they really do transform a look. So I kind of want to use one of these. I'm just not sure which one. I think I'm going to go in with kind of a bronzy shade, and if it changes the whole look, it changes the whole look. It's called Aster. I think all of these are new shades, if I'm not mistaken. Some of them look similar to ones that have been launched in the past, but I think that they're new. This is something I would go in for an everyday look with, so I'm going to do just that. This is going to be tapped over the center of the eyelid, and this is definitely a shadow of its own. It's not a topper, so it is going to transform the look a little bit. So just going in, and you can manipulate these with a brush. This is going to give me, I think, like a bronze, beachy, almost wet-looking eyelid look. I don't think there's quite an appreciation for Super Shock shadows these days as there should be. I think that they're a little underhyped because with the emerging trends of like quick makeup, clean girl makeup, um, you know, no makeup makeup, and just like effortless looks, these are the definition of effortless. And you can go in with colorful eyeshadow with one swipe and all of a sudden it looks like you've done something. Or like today, you can just add a little bronze, do a little tiny blending and again it looks like you've done something i probably will go in after i'm done with my face makeup with a little bit more of that super shock underneath the eye but i want to wait until my face makeup is done there's a couple steps where i'm going to be cheating on ColourPop in this video just because i don't have products from ColourPop in front of me one being false lashes but first before i put false lashes on i want to show you this combo that i accidentally discovered so there's two different mascaras from ColourPop that I like. I think there have been some in the past that I did not like, but I really love the Act Natural Mascara in the shade Brown. So if you're going through your no lashes phase, which I know a lot of people are, please check out this brown mascara because it's absolutely incredible. And then the other one I like is the Level Up in the shade Black. But if you use these two together for whatever reason, maybe it would be better if you use the same shade. I don't know, but I did this the other day completely accidentally and had an amazing natural combination on my eyelashes and typically I'm not thrilled by mascara so I'm just going to do it really quick and show you what I'm talking about. My boyfriend just sent me a house and that's another thing I guess a little life update for you guys. The most perfect house came up. Oh my god it was beautiful. It was oh my god it was everything I wanted um, but recently if you don't know um, the prices, the interest rates have gone up and therefore our pre-approval went down by like 30 grand, I think. Um, and the cost of living is higher. And so that house that was perfect, we couldn't even put a bid on and it's contingent now. So it's like not even something to think about, but it was so perfect. It was literally the house for us. Like it was rebuilt from the studs it was like a farm style house but everything was new the floors were like hickory open floor plan plenty of space multiple bedrooms lots of natural lighting please just put me out of my misery it's actually heartbreaking i don't like to think about it 
But we're in a housing crisis, so I'm trying to give myself some grace here, but I just feel like absolute garbage that I'm 28 and we haven't been able to buy our own house yet. Okay, so this is the brown mascara. I don't know if you guys can see it as well as I can, obviously, but on its own, absolutely stunning. If you guys only wear mascara, you don't like lashes, this is just so beautiful and natural, especially if you maybe are blonde and you're looking for something a little more um, natural looking than black mascara. But for whatever reason, topping this brown mascara with this black mascara literally made my lashes look like falsies the other day. I'm hoping I can recreate it. It wings out my natural lashes. Literally, to me, it makes them look like falsies. I have little nubs, so I see people with beautiful natural lashes that outbeat my falsies every day, but my lashes never look this good. <laughs> So I really, really love this combo. It's like a good in-between lengthening and thickening. And it's like a little bit clumpy, but like only where it makes it look like fake lashes, not where it looks like gross. I don't know. I don't know. I love it. It's a really great combo. It's super weird that one's brown and one is black, but I just really, really love this combination. But I'm going to take a little breather and put my false lashes on. These used to be my favorite lashes. These are the Ardell Studio Effects Dummy Wispies. I found them on sale at Marshalls, so I have a bad feeling they're going to be discontinued. They just fit my eye shape really well. I don't even have to trim them down, and I'll come back and show you what they look like, obviously. But if you're wondering, this is what I'm wearing. But... I did try a pair from ColourPop that I want to give a little shout out to. They are the Faux Mink in the style Queenie, and they have such a nice curl to them. I did wear them, and then I accidentally threw them away. I was going to wear them for this video, but they have a really nice curl to them. They look really good. Those are the ones I should be wearing, but I'm going to put these on, and I'll be back to finish the look. Okay, the studio effects are on, and I am assuming I'm like around midway of this video. Hopefully, maybe there's a little bit more, um, but I'm going to let you guys know I'm going to be doing a mystery box giveaway. ColourPop sends me a lot of PR and while I really really appreciate it I can't review all of it I'm one human being and we know how much they release so it gives me a unique opportunity to be able to donate a bunch of makeup but also host these giveaways so once again I've done this before but I've put together three mystery boxes I'll give you guys a little clip of what they look like so far I'm probably gonna add a little bit more to each box um, but they consist of a bunch of different collections Star Wars the roller skate one the Daisy one one, um, the poppy one, the, everything. The, I don't even know. There's a bunch in these boxes. I tried to keep them like pretty fair when it comes to the colors. There's a little bit of neutral, a little bit of pops of color, a little bit of everything in each of these boxes. So if you guys are interested in entering this giveaway, I'm going to leave the rules in the description box. I'm kind of thinking they're going to be a little bit different this time because um, I'm looking for some feedback from you guys. But if you guys want to enter, check that out and please stay tuned to the end of this video because now I'm going to be moving on to face. So today, this is going to be only my second time trying this, but I'm going to be using the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer, and mine is in the shade Light 5N. And the shade that I previously used was Fair 4N, and it was way too light for me, so this is only one step down, so it's still probably going to be a little bit too light for me. And if it is, don't worry, I'm going to go in with bronzer, and we're going to even out the skin tone, but I looked crazy the last time I tried this, so I'm kind of hoping we don't have a similar outcome to that. But I'm not going to use a ton, because with my base routine lately, it's really been my skin but better, and I've been enhancing the skin that I have, and just embracing real looking, if you you will skin so let's just do it I really like tinted moisturizers I'm trying about three different ones right now so if you guys want my take on some of these tinted moisturizers let me know I do prefer when there's SPF in them because you don't have to go in with a separate SPF I don't think this has SPF in it unfortunately so I wish I had an SPF spray for face. I don't have one right now. I really want to try the Super Goop one, uh, but that's kind of my only option today anyways is to spray something over top. And I have made a promise to wear SPF every day, so I'm kind of breaking that promise today. But not that it matters. You're supposed to wear it every day, but it is very gloomy and rainy today, and I might not leave the house. So we're going to forgive not wearing it. So this is definitely a little 
light for me. This does have a light coverage. It is exactly what it says it is. It's a tinted moisturizer, so it does add just a little bit of evenness to the skin tone. This one I have found it just adds like a really nice glow to the face as well. And I am going to be going in with concealer over areas that I think need a little bit more coverage. There's the difference. And looking at the camera, it does look like a pretty big difference. Like, it's covered up a lot of my freckles, redness. I'm a little pasty, but it looks pretty good. I'm just going to take this multitasker brush from Sigma, and I'm going to press into the skin. Because one thing is that I think you can kind of see... The brush strokes from that other brush and I don't want that obviously so I'm just gonna push it into the skin before we get started on the rest of the face so far so good I did make a concealer discovery recently with Colourpop's pretty fresh concealer this one it's a little light again but I do think it's a really nice brightening shade for me so that's what I'm gonna use it for it's the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and mine is in the shade fair 20 end I'm just gonna use a little bit to cover up underneath my eyes. I do have some darkness under there. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. I haven't really told you anything about what's been going on, but I've been working like 60 hours a week and I actually had to have my first Good Samaritan moment uh, a couple days ago and it's still a little bit traumatizing and I don't want to get too too far into it, but I did have to like save a guy and he had gotten in a car accident with a tree. He hit a tree right in front of me. And I had to, you know, call 911, get him out of the car, drag him to the ditch, and stay with him. And I think he's okay, but I'm still waiting to find out if he's fully okay. I think he had some stuff going on and potentially fell asleep at the wheel. That was, that was an eventful time. Um, and just like, I am having a little bit of a lack of sleep. I have family members, multiple family members who are dealing with health issues right now. And I have a lot of responsibility on my plate that I don't ever really talk about. And so, um, just a lot, like a lot going on mentally. And then I'm trying to still take care of my own health, but man, I don't know how people do it. Like, working nine to ten hours and then going to the gym is like one of the hardest things I've ever done and I unfortunately don't have a lot of time to work out at home anymore or go in the morning so I've really been having to drag my ass to the gym. My doctor uh, yesterday I went in because I've been having some ear issues and he thinks I have TMJ which is lovely and if that's the case I might end up asking my injector to Botox my jaw, which how great would it be if it slimmed down my face too, because that's like something I can't stand, but it does make me a little bit afraid. Like I'm fine using Botox in the forehead. I'm pretty sure Botox in the forehead is like FDA approved and whatever, but anything I think below the eye line, I'm pretty sure is not. I don't know, I might be talking out of my ass right now. This is really nice and brightening, especially on days like this where my under eyes are just not having it. Reapproaching the Super Shock Shadow, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this on this like flat concealer brush. I think this is Anastasia 18 brush and this is gonna go underneath my eyes. I'm literally using the end of my brush to like buff that out. I have too many super shocks so if you guys want to see like a super shock shadow collection slash declutter let me know. Now time to go in with some powder. I don't powder all the time in my base routine but if I'm going in with a powder bronzer I need a little bit of powder down first to make sure that nothing gets muddy. So I'm going in with the pretty fresh pressed powder. This is in the shade fair one. I'm not going to take a lot of this. I'm just going to pick it up and tap most of it off. And this is just going to get ready for the large amount of bronzing I'm about to do. Going in with a brand new product. This is the ColourPop Matte Bronzer in the shade Avila Beach. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Um, it might be like a beach in California or something. But I am going to be lazily applying this matte bronzer with a huge bronzer brush from Sigma. This is a new bronzer brush and I'm obsessed with it because it's so gigantic. It's the ultimate bronze F78. And so I'm going to be picking this up. I will tap off a little bit and I'm going to be doing the same thing as the powder. I'm just going to be pressing it into the contour bronze areas. This is not contouring. This is definitely bronzing, but this is where I'm going to bring that skin tone 
a little closer to what my body looks like and not my face. This shade is the best one out of the line for me, so actually a couple of the shades that I think would be a little bit more universal are in the giveaway today. All three boxes have a matte bronzer. The issue with my ears that I'm dealing with is like when I talk or when I listen to music, there's like a crackling sensation and like let's freaking hope that I'm not losing my hearing. My doctor thinks it's TMJ. I don't understand how it could be TMJ, but I guess it could be allergies. I do have underdeveloped ears because of a syndrome that my family has. That's it for bronzer, so it's time for me to cheat once again on ColourPop because I don't have a setting spray. And I could have sworn that I did have one. I don't know where it went. I looked, I searched up and down for it. I don't have it. But I'm going to use my favorite, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, and that's going to allow for me to go in with more creams, which my favorite step is coming. So I need to set my face with something that's going to make it a little bit more dewy so I can play around with different textures. Amazing, amazing setting spray, but... It is stepping outside of the one brand. <laughs> now this brush I'm about to use has seen better days. It needs to be washed. I just used it for the same thing I'm using it for today, yesterday, and it has like bronzer on it and mascara on it. It's not looking good, but it's the Glowish by Huda Beauty Airbrush Finish Face Brush, and I use this for liquid blush. So this has been probably my favorite makeup product of the past three months. I have talked to you guys about it countless times, but I don't know if I have shown this in use other than maybe on TikTok. This is the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush in the shade Hotline. It's the most beautiful hot girl blush slash highlighter that I've ever used. And yes, I'm talking highlight. So look at my face now. It has a little bit of glow, right? But nothing major. Not a lot of color. Just watch. Just watch and learn. I'm going to use a lot of this on the back of my hand. I don't play around. This is my favorite blush right now. So I take a fan brush, which is super weird, but I dip in, saturate, diffuse a little bit, and transform my cheek. I tap. I've barely done anything, and you're already seeing color. But you go up the high points, and it literally acts like a highlighter. Blush and highlight in one. It's so juicy, so summery, so everything that is in right now. And I cannot believe more people don't talk about this. Maybe it's the way people are using it. So if you haven't tried this, definitely try this. I know it's weird to apply a liquid with a fan brush, but it's perfection. We're coming together. We're not fully, fully done. I did want to show you guys this highlighter because it's freaking gorgeous, but the Cheek Dew is my highlight on my cheek today, but I wanted to play around with this maybe as a nose highlight. It's the Addicted to You Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. I think this was out of the Poppy collection, but it has gold and it has like a peachy and like, I don't know, it's giving me like summer vibes. And it's gold, it's peach, it's champagne, and it's all marbled into one, but you can kind of grab which colors you want. So I think I'm going to pick up like a little bit of the peachier side and do a nose highlight because I haven't done a nose highlight in a while. I do have a little bit of the blush on there, but I'm just going to dot this on and then buff it out maybe with the side of this wretched fan brush. Let me swatch it for you on the back of my hand. All swirled together, it looks like this. So really pretty, like glassy, almost like golden hour type highlight. I forgot I was going to use this eyeliner. This is the ColourPop liquid liner. Um, I forgot, so we're not doing that today, but I have a lip liner I want to try on. This is, I think I used this when I reviewed the Barbie collection. This is the Barbie X ColourPop Golden Beach Lip Liner, and I really want to do a nude lip because that's what I've been doing, and I'm just going to line my lips real quick. 
This is definitely like a peachy nude. Very, very pretty color. Actually, this would be really pretty just all over the lips. And my suggestion for ColourPop lip liners would definitely be to buy the Vault because it's such a steal. Whenever it comes around, it's a really good deal and you get like every color you could ever need. I have this cute little donut that holds my... Um, lip liners on my unit, my little storage unit, and it's full of vault liners from ColourPop, and I honestly, I could just use ColourPop liners and be totally set because I have like every single shade. And for my lipstick, this is my favorite ColourPop lipstick. This is the Fresh Kiss formula. It's a lip cream in the style, in the style, in the color BB Spice. It's the perfect nude for me, and it's really comfortable, and it goes really well with this Barbie lip liner. It's very, very nude and very, very basic, you guys, but this is definitely what I've been doing, what I've been reaching for, what my makeup typically looks like. I'm going to set it one more time with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. So that is it. I really feel like a lot of this comes down to blush, natural, glowy, neutral makeup. I play around with this makeup look with all types of different makeup. It's like my go-to makeup look. So if you guys want to see my go-to look with my top current favorite products, I can show you that. Um, or like my go-to look using new products, I could try that. Just let me know what you want to see from me, but I loved this. I just love playing around with new products, and I feel like I definitely find hidden gems. One that's definitely going to be worked into my routine is the Pretty Fresh Concealer. You guys know I already am obsessed with the Cheek Dew, but I really had a good experience with this bronzer as well. And I really do want to play around more with the eyeshadow palette, um, but everything, honestly, everything... I love so if you guys want to check out any of these products I will leave them linked down below also I do have a discount code Kendall but we might have a site-wide sale going on I'm not really sure let me know please if you would like to see like my top 10 ColourPop products because I feel like that might be a little bit helpful I have kind of a series idea that I want to start so maybe I will do that soon for you guys but thank you for hanging out with me and for watching and supporting my channel please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to to check out the description if you want to enter today's giveaway and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!